Hey you guys, Johnny FRX here with a new quick video for you on the ESP32 with the integrated OLED. Uh, this is the Wemos Lowland model that I have here. Today I am going to show off some of the Bluetooth Low Energy, the BLE feature to it. That stack is finally being developed some more and more and I got it fired up on this for you today. I'm going to show you uh, real fast what we have going on here. In the back you're going to notice all I have is an LM35 temperature resistor back in here, your standard 3-pin hot data and ground. Um, right now screen's black because when the BLE fires up on this it doesn't activate until it's connected. BLE, very small package, I think 20 bytes compared to your traditional Bluetooth uh, which is good for streaming etc. So we're going to use the Bluetooth LE BLE scanner for this today. You see on your left hand side I'm going to fire that app up and it scans for anything that's currently available and there's Johnny FRX ESP32 we're gonna connect to that guy there and the screen should fire up because now it says okay I have a connection so at this point it's considered a custom service so we'll click on that guy down there and off to the right hand side here you're gonna see three possibilities one is called notify and hit the end there and you're gonna see the value fluctuating should be matching what you see on your OLED now I'll hover my finger over the LM35 in the back here and you should see that fluctuate and look at the screen and look at the app on the phone to the left here to see the value go up and then drop back down that's using BLE um, from the ESP32 sending to the Bluetooth app on the phone that's pretty slick a lot of things you can do with this, but I figured I'd just throw this out here real fast for you guys just to show you the possibilities of it. And when you disconnect the app, it'll turn the screen off on the ESP32. At least it should. Disconnect. Alright, well that's not quite working like I expected it to. There it goes. That's it in a nutshell. I'll put some code up for this on that Google Share like the other ones and I'll tag this to the end of my existing Instructables the ESP32 getting started and look, look toward the end of that Instructable for any additional steps um, on what to do with this or if you're just getting started start at the beginning load up your ESP32 like you need to and then load up this sketch on it and you can start playing with the BLE features hope everyone's doing great happy 2018 and we'll talk to you soon bye